Hello, hello, everybody out there. It is Jessica Weaver, author of Strong Woman, Stronger Assets. Notice the pink theme, if you haven't noticed yet. Aren't you curious why everything is pinked out, pink fix? Well, we'll get to that later. But today I want to talk to you about something I've been noticing with a lot of the women coming to me. Well, first I started out by saying, I'm curious what's going on in your world. How can you potentially help me? What is really going on? And I think the biggest thing I see with these women are that they've been trying to do it on their own or they've been getting the wrong help. And doing on our on our own can cost us a lot of money. Actually, probably the most amount of money when we try to fix it ourselves because we end up losing so much time. We end up getting so frustrated and we tend to give up a lot more. And then doing it with the wrong person. And I've had one woman who actually said that every time she goes to try to get help with her life, with her money, the person who's supposed to be helping her, the roles flip and she ends up helping them more than they're helping her. Well, that's not a mutually beneficial relationship, especially if you're paying them to help you, but you help them more. So if you aren't reaching your goals, it might be because you're just with the wrong person. You don't know where to turn or you've been trying to do it on your own. And what, especially for myself, so I am a sweet tooth addict. I love it to death. And right now, especially after the holidays, I get addicted to that sugar. And I wake up, I'm like, what candy can I get? What brownies, what cookies, what cake? When's the next cake coming? And so I'm always trying, thinking about the next thing. So I have this bowl of candy that is usually on my desk. And I had to move it out of the room because willpower is like a muscle, if you haven't heard this yet, and it fatigues. And so I'm like, I'm not gonna eat those candies, I'm not gonna eat those candies, I'm not gonna eat those candies, but they're staring at me in the face, they're staring at me in the eye, and so I have to remove it from my environment. And that is a big thing when I hear a lot of women telling me, oh, I'm gonna cut my costs, I'm gonna go cold turkey, I'm not gonna spend any money. How long do you think that will last? How long do you think that willpower is going to last? Not very long. And what happens is it sets them up even worse. Just like if I'm staring at this bowl of candy for a full day, I'm, I'm not going to eat it, I'm not going to eat it, I'm not going to eat it. By the end of the day, I'm probably going to eat 20 of them instead of just one when I've had that temptation. And that's what happens with people with their money. All of a sudden, they've been denying things to themselves for so long oh, I deserve it, I'm going to go out and buy it. The other thing is, you know, how do we fight willpower? By changing our environment like I had to do with my candies, by also making sure that I have the right help. I also hear people saying, you know, I have my husband as my accountability buddy, I have so-and-so as my accountability buddy. But the problem when we ask our family, our loved ones, our friends to be our accountability buddies is they do not want to see us stressed out. They don't want to see us uncomfortable. They don't want to see us anxious. But when we're fighting for something that we want, hi ladies who are watching, when we're fighting for something that we want, we're going to get uncomfortable. It's going to get a little stressful. We're going to get very uneasy, uneasy, anxious, whatever you want to call it. So our loved ones, they're going to be very easy on us. Oh, you don't have to do it. They're not really going to push us like we need to get pushed. They're not going to force us, guide us, support us like we need to. They just say, why don't you take it easy? Oh yeah, you've been very good this month. Go, go ahead and spend a little bit. You deserve it. You're right. And that's a problem. And it's not because they don't love us. It's just because they want to keep us comfortable and safe, right? In our cozy, comfy little spots. So a few things, right? Willpower, willpower fatigue. So it's very hard to do it on our own. Two, finding the right support. When we have our loved ones supporting us, they can cheer us on, but when you need somebody to hold you accountable and to keep pushing you and raising your standard that you're living, trying to live up to, you need somebody who is outside that circle. Somebody who is either striving for the same things, going through the same thing, or has been there and is helping you pull you yourself forward. And then the last thing is, who is going to really help you when things change up or if something new happens and you want to give up? 
How many times have you been there where you just want to give up because it got really hard or there was an unexpected expense that completely threw your plan off course and now you don't know how you're going to get there? You know, one woman I, I've been working with at my retirement club, she's near retirement, she has some credit card debt. She has good assets, but she has this debt and she knows she can't retire if she still has this debt. But in her mind, her thinking, her strategy was, I'm going to throw all my extra income at the debt. But it left her non-retirement money, her savings, so little. So anytime she had a big expense, all of a sudden, it went back to the credit cards. So she'd chip away at them and then a big expense came in. Whoop, we're right back where we were or even worse. So I had to guide her to change her mentality around paying off debt, change her habits paying off debt, to getting a strategy that will pay off the debt, but also build up her savings so that she wouldn't always be crippled by the debt. That was a big shift. So it's one guiding you and then holding you accountable. Who's going to hold you accountable so you th that you hit your goals? And how do we make sure we do it so that we're not re we aren't stuck relying on willpower to make those changes for us? And that's what's really important. Because the willpower, it is going to fatigue and it's not going to serve us in the end. We need to change our entire environment, change our habits, our mindset, and have a coach to push us and have people to hold us accountable. And that's really when we go into my retirement club. I have a club, a year membership for women near in retirement. And that's what it is. We have the community it's built around the community so that you have the support, you have the accountability, and you have people who are striving for the same exact things that you are. To live their best life in retirement, to have, to live out their bucket list, to have the support to do that and know that they're not crazy for going for it. So it's about the community, the support, the accountability, changing your environment so that you set yourself up for success instead of failure. Because that was what happens when we rely on willpower or we rely on our loved ones to hold us accountable. It's not setting yourself up for success. And the other pieces of the club is a community to build the confidence so that you can do it. You're seeing yourself doing it. You're holding yourself accountable. The other women are holding you accountable. And you start to believe in yourself. You start to gain that confidence like, heck yeah, I can do this. I can take retirement by the horns, do it on my own terms, and have control. And that's the final piece of the club, control. Because who wants to have control in their retirement? Who wants to be able to walk out that door their last day of work saying, heck yeah, I got this. I know what I'm doing. I have the support. I have the woman who got my back. I can do this and on my own terms. Not waiting for somebody to get lay you off, waiting for your health to jeopardize it. All those factors, it's in your hands, your control. Because what does control bring us? It brings us freedom. I think that's what we all want with our money is freedom. It's not to be able to buy this McMansion or a boat or all these houses and live this certain life. It's to have the freedom to be able to do what you want to do with your life. To live your life the fullest way possible, especially in retirement. So community, confidence, control. That's what we're about. I hope that's what you're about too. I love to hear from you if you are. All right, thanks for joining me today. Bye, ladies.